Hello students, uh, in last lecture we talk about the various types of soils and uh, today we will talk about the last topic of chapter number 8 and that is soil erosion. So let's start without any disturbance. Now uh, first we would like to talk about what is soil erosion. Now see compared to understand the topic soil erosion first understand what is erosion. So in the textbook it is mentioned that erosion means the transportation of land particles from one place to another with the help of moving air or water. Means what? Either with the help of air or by the help of flowing water. The fertile particles, okay, the fertile particles move from one place to other place. Okay, so uh, let's observe this with the help of one animation. Now in this animation you can able to see, if you see carefully, the water is flowing but along with this water, the fertile particle also move from one place to other place. Means water will transfer these fertile particles from this land to somewhere else. So the area over here uh, that is eroded. So that's why the process is known as soil erosion. So we repeat the definition. Erosion means the transportation of the land particles from one place to another with the help of either moving air or by flowing water. In other words, the faster transportation of the particles of the surface of land to other place by natural force. So the natural force is responsible to move the particles of the surface land to some other place. Now this process it takes many years to form the upper layer. See the soil uppermost layer prepared by you know the time consuming efforts I mean to say it required years millions of years to prepare the uppermost layer of the soil and if the soil particles are carried away because of heavy rain or stormy wind the agriculture production decrease because as you can see here if fertile particles are moved okay then what happen if these fertile particles move then this land cannot be used for agriculture so here it is very clearly mentioned that the agriculture production decrease. Now it is extremely necessary to maintain the upper layer for agriculture. You should stop this kind of erosion so that the uppermost layer of the soil remain as it is for agriculture activity. So the soil erosion should be prevented. It can be asked in exam about explain soil erosion and the measures to prevent soil erosion like that way or explain soil erosion and along with that question some other question either for two marks or three marks now you can able to see in the photograph both the images are indicate soil erosion both the places in the your textbook pdf or in video also you can able to see this is the area where particles are carried out okay from this location to somewhere else same apply over here now we would like to talk about the measures to prevent soil erosion. You want to stop soil erosion, what you require to do? Control the grazing activity on the land. Now grazing means what? Grazing means the area where animals, uh, animals uh, will come to eat the graze. I mean to say uh, cattle grazing. Okay. So animals will come and eat the grass and other things. So you have to control this grazing activity okay because if number of plants available then soil erosion will uh, either uh, less possible or the ratio uh, will less so in that case you should see that animals will not eat uh, plants and other things okay I'm, I'm not saying you have to stop it but you have to control it so that you can able to stop soil erosion the second point is uh, plantation should be carried out in the uh, counter method in the slopey region because what happened if, if it is slopey region then on the slope okay the water you know flow faster as you can see here 
surface run of water this this arrow indicate that you can able to see flow fast now if the water flow fast from top to bottom okay then the soil erosion will be very fast because force is towards down direction gravitational force so in that case if you if you go for plantation over here okay then it will decrease the speed and if it decrease the speed then the flow becomes slow and if the flow becomes slow then erosion is not possible so keeping this reality in mind you should go for plantation on the slope region uh plant trees in the fallow land fallow land means the land which is uh, which can be cultivated on that land you can able to go for plantation uh construct check them uh, where there are streams okay so check them as you can able to see here this group of stones you can able to find out now they create hurdles so flow of water will reduce so you require to go for uh, you know these kind of check dams okay uh, check means stop okay so check dam means that type of uh, uh, construction where the flow of water will decrease uh, cultivation uh, cultivate very deeply in the field to reduce the speed of water so we have to go for you know deep cultivation and if you go for deep cultivation then the roots will hold the soil the root will hold the soil so that the erosion is not possible so uh, this is the measure to prevent the soil erosion now the next topic is soil conservation so how we conserve the soil how we keep the fertility of soil as it is now uh, soil conservation means underline soil conservation means to prevent the soil erosion and to maintain its quality you require to keep the quality of the soil as it is you require to maintain the quality means what the quality will not be will not require to be damaged the quality of the uppermost layer remains as it is now soil conservation is directly uh, connected to the retain the soil particles means what keep the soil particles keep the fertility of the soil keep the soil particles as it is at their original place so here we will stop soil erosion that means the soil particles fertile soil particles will not move from one place to other place now different remedies are used at different places in the world according to its location and platform so see in the whole world we have variety of things different place we have a different technique okay if location is change okay then uh, situation also change okay so in that case uh, variety of location is variety of problems so in that case you have to find out the solution okay uh, uh, if if the soil is not conserved uh, then there are chances of flood which enhance the risk against uh, life and properties so uh, if if you go for uh, you know less plantation means chances of flood increase if chances of flood increase then it can be risk for life of people or animals and property waste and all those things thus soil conservation is very much necessary now uh, if you go for soil conservation then you are reducing the flood so indirectly you are keep the quality of the soil as it is quality of soil will not move from one place to other place now we have to discuss this diagram now surface run of water now if you see the arrow move, move from top to down approach so the flow will become fast because of slope okay and water having faster flow percolates less in soil percolate means inside it go less inside it directly move in this direction so chances to go inside the soil is very less now if you observe that this particular part we will change like this water harvesting in the terrace means steps so terrace slopes most of the water is stored therein if you create this kind of uh, hole okay this kind of fellow land okay then inside that water can remain as it is you can able to better understand over here it can be stored big amount of water so water accumulate collected on the terrace on the steps percolates going inside slowly and raises the ground level water so here ground level water will increase because this area collect the water and slowly water will go inside so ground level water will increase so this is the diametrical explanation now we go to the uh, next topic that is remedies of soil conservation
okay remedial work to conserve the soil what are the remedial work we require to observe now the roots of the trees in the forest cover hold up by the soil particles so the more deep the roots the soil okay particles are joined with that particular root okay so if if the root available okay then that root will jointly associate with the soil so that the fertile particles will not move okay so the root is important factor because it just hold up the soil particles so uh, plant trees in the river gorges and on mountain slope near river area and near mountain slope okay try your level best that you can go for plantation government also give uh, uh, motivation for plantation so if you go for plant trees near river area or near mountain uh, slopes okay it's always helpful to stop uh, soil erosion a series of trees should be uh, grow near desert region to prevent the winds from more velocity with more force and it will stop the advancing the desert it will stop desert advancing means what it not allow desert to spread more if you go for uh, you know series of trees near desert area and suppose if the wind blow then the velocity the speed of the wind will reduce and that reduced speed will not allow desert to expand if desert not expand then soil erosion is not possible next the river flood should be controlled by diverting the flow in other river or in dry river either the flow of the river required to be divert so that it merge with other river or you require to divert the flow of the river into the area where the area is dry so by that way you can able to control the river water okay next in in india many rivers are like that ganga river if you observe there are many tributary so it can be transferred to other river and in that way you can able to either transfer the flow or you require to transfer the flow into the area which is dry now the unrestricted pasturing loosen the soil layer of the mountain it should be prevented okay pasturing okay animal cattle grazing required to be stopped as we discuss okay it, it required to be prevent and required to be control now as you can see the diagram in the textbook okay on the left side that is figure number 8.7 it is terrace farms terrace means steps so it is step farming okay so here what happen if the water comes from top to bottom the water will store in these areas okay so that the flow of water will reduce so here soil erosion is absolutely very less okay or is you can go for a horizontal cultivation here we have a slope and here you go for horizontal cultivation so if the water comes down direction then also it can be create hurdles okay so either you go for horizontal cultivation or you go for terrace farms okay both these techniques helpful in terms of uh, stop soil erosion now we are right now on page number uh, 65 now on page number 66 it's mentioned that methods like horizontal cultivation terrace farming should be implement as i explain you humus content should be added to the soil which has lost its fertility now uh, this point says that the soil which lost its fertility means we have a layer of the soil that soil layer lost fertility then what you have to do you have to add you have to add humus okay you have to add humus so that the fertility of soil increase okay fine now conclusion of the lesson is by implementing these remedies soil can be conserved and the conservation of the soil is a strong necessity today government society people should work together for its conservation so this is what the uh, explanation part of our chapter number 8 okay uh now the the important point which we have to discuss is we have a, a question answer available uh as i already clarify and those who are uh, aware that we are writing the answers we are writing the answers 
okay point by point okay you all are aware what is point by point so but still i decide that i will clarify once okay so if the question is of say for example if the question is of 2 marks then you require to go for minimum you require to go for minimum say 6 points i hope you can able to see this so two marks answers you have to write uh, then in that two marks answer you have to write six points for three marks questions answer you require to write minimum nine points and for four marks you have to write everything okay you have to write every detail okay so this is the normal way of writing the answers okay uh, i will prepare one separate video how to write the answer in board exam with the help of some uh, suggested uh, answer by board itself now uh, in your uh, homework or you can say in your fair book or you can say today's homework whatever you understand you have to write the answer of textbook exercise question okay clear so in in that way in that case we have a first question that is what is mean by resource okay so uh, i would like to tell you i would like to clarify to you that uh, i will write the marks and accordingly you have to write in fair book as a question answer okay clear so uh, we have a use of resources okay what is resource and use of resources that is 3 marks okay now when these kind of question ask okay you have to be very careful see when you see the answer use of resources this all you have to write okay i mean to say resources of food then you can write some points resources as a source of raw material then some points resources as energy resource and then some points okay likewise means that you have to explain certain information in the mark range of 3 marks next what is uh, uh, meant by soil conservation and state the remedies of the soil conservation okay then uh, uh, this question is of 4 marks okay actually it is of 2 marks and 2 marks but i'll create 4 marks so you can remember all the points uh, then the uh, alluvial soil black soil and uh, process of soil formation okay and uh, what are the basis that they are classified this question is of four marks okay i hope you can able to see and this is of uh, alluvial soil okay and black soil these both are available in a form of uh, short information okay so they are of 3 3 marks this is of 3 3 marks then state the remedies and prevention of the soil again 3 marks mountain soil 3 marks desert soil 3 marks now board can ask the question of explain types of soil okay so here if you not write about other soil if you really want to prepare yourself write all the soils and few of you already go for now listen one common instruction even though you already write these all things still i want again to write so textbook exercise required to be write again in fair book i repeat textbook exercise required to write again in fair book okay and then mcqs i hope you better aware okay so this is our textbook exercise okay and uh, accordingly uh, i want you to write even though you write answer in homework like for example if you already write alluvial soil okay still i want in fair book again okay the more you work the more you understand so don't ask the question that i already write then shall i require to write again yes you require to write again okay so uh, we will end our uh, lesson over here okay and uh, we will meet soon with the new lesson till then please take care of yourself thank you